The only thing that will stop evildoers and enablers of evil are persistent repercussions without any chance for relief. As long as they can get relief, they will not stop the wrong they're doing and they won't stop enabling wrong to get relief. That's how it goes. Look at ancient Egypt. Look at all the other oppressors that oppressed the Israelites throughout history. Look at the history of believers, real believers also. It's only when there is no other option but to comply with justice that they will comply. And if they have to comply because they have no other option, the anger they will feel with complying will harm them, not you. Worldly people, they want to be able to victimize at ease without being held accountable by anyone. As a group, they just want to be able to get away with everything, never having to explain themselves, never have to face themselves, and never have to give up. They will whatever they will, and you have to find a way to deal with it. That's how worldly people are. The moment you enforce justice, suddenly they will reveal themselves for the demons they are becoming. Because all worldly people are on their way to reprobation unless they become born again. The moment you enforce justice in your situation, by faith, they will expose what they are becoming. Reprobate. Suddenly, when they realize that attacking you will backfire, they will capitulate. They will just flee from you. That's why some of you believers, you have debt collectors that aren't coming after you anymore. That's why some of you have people that are upset with you, but they won't address it. That's why some of you believers are so at ease now, because all the people that issues against you, they're all fleeing. Because they see clearly that things are backfiring on them, and that there is no possibility for them to get away with anything. And they can't write it off if it never happened, because the repercussions are haunting them. And the only way the repercussions will leave is when they comply with justice. They won't do that. That means for life, they'll be stuck with the repercussions that haunt them. And the more they operate against you, the heavier the precautions will become. The moment they realize this, they flee. They will flee. Even if you owe them $100 million, they will flee. They will flee. No matter how much they invested against you, they will flee. Because it will cost them everything if they keep persisting against you. That's how it ought to be with believers. It's only persistent repercussions that will shut down violence and evil around you. Nothing else. You can't laugh evil out of people. That's not how it works. So don't resort to violence, nor rely on your own understanding. Walk by faith and, decree and declare righteous judgment around you. Be at peace.